Well, things are a little bit quiet up here in this sneaky little creek. I've got myself out of the wind and I'm just waiting for the tide to change. I do have a bait in the water over here, a nice big mullet, but I don't really expect anything to come and grab it. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to tell you a little bit about the gear that I use and how I make these videos. The first bit of gear I want to tell you about is the camera I'm using right now. It's actually my phone. It's a iPhone 6S Plus, so it's getting to be a couple of years old now. But it's actually the best quality camera that I use when I'm out fishing. Um, you can see that it doesn't create uh, any rounded uh, backgrounds and things like that, like the GoPros do. The GoPros are excellent though for what I use them for, but um, when I try and do anything important to say directly to the camera, like right now, I use my iPhone. The next bit of gear to tell you about is my GoPro sessions. I have three of these. As you can see, they're tiny. This one's on charge at the moment. I've got a little battery pack there that I have three of them and I bring them out with me. And if I need to, if it's a big day, I'll actually charge them while I'm out. I also carry spare um, SD cards or micro SD cards, which fit in there. And they, these things are just awesome. They're one button operation, that button on top there. So the camera's off right now. If I press that button on top, it'll turn itself on and start recording. Press the button again, and it'll stop recording and turn itself off. So this is the old style of GoPro, where you'd have to press that button there to turn it on, and then the button on top to start recording every time you'd want to use it. So I just use this one now for my underwater shots. Got it on, on, on what's called a go pole. It floats just in case I drop it, but it also enables me to get it fairly far underwater. So that's my underwater camera. We'll go back to the GoPro sessions for a moment. So what I wanted to show you with the GoPro sessions is how I actually mount them. Two of my cameras I have on these clamps, which have a, like a flexible extension on them. And they are just awesome. I'll show you how I mount these. Check this out, I can mount it to almost anything. So up there, point it down, say like that. Now that's ready to record. I've got a rod over here on the other side. So if I press record on that GoPro over there, it's going to take that whole angle in, looking back over to where I'm fishing. Another spot I'd like to mount one of these is just here on the bait board. I'd like to point that camera back up at me. And that's the shot that I use of that you can see looking at me while I'm fishing. And finally, the camera that takes in most of the action is the chest cam. It makes me feel ridiculous wearing it, but it gets the best shots for while I'm fishing. You can see this one as well is on charge at the moment. I'll stick my little battery pack in the back there. That's all pretty good. But that pretty much looks wherever I look and gets me the best fishing shots. Most of this stuff fits in my little camera bag here. Got all sorts of little extra odds and ends. That's something I can mount my iPhone in and, uh, and that's all flexible so I can sort of clamp it onto any surface. Got these little egg timer GoPro mounts, which are good for time-lapse footage. Well, that's pretty much it for the equipment that I use, but I would like to add that uh, even if you don't feel like it when you get back from big days fishing, make sure that the first thing you do is get your cameras on charge and get those micro SD cards out and back them up to your computer or hard drive or where, wherever you do because then you can be ready to go at a moment's notice for your next big fishing trip. If you get into the habit of doing this, then you're never going to be rushed at the last minute. It's a good habit to get into. Once I've got all the footage on my computer, I edit the videos together with Premiere Pro. Uh, it's a program that I've been familiar with for a long time now and I'm very comfortable using it, but you can use any video editing software you like if you want to make videos. I hope I haven't waffled on too much about this folks, but I hope you've enjoyed watching and it's given you a brief insight into how I make these videos. I'm Mikey Cunningham and thanks for watching.